the neck hard to lengthen tissue, right? And letting gravity kind of pull on your head. But let's say somebody holds weights in their hand, they need a deeper stretch than that. We can leverage a stretch into lateral flexion by having you hang your head off of the table. Okay, so again, the gravity is having a, a more substantial effect on my head. And so I should be getting way more lengthening on my lateral flexion of my neck. I'm gonna relax my arm, I'm gonna let that pull. Depending on the line of tissue you need, you might find that this way opens it up more. That does it for me right there. And that does it for me. Okay, so I get more front side here. I get more backside there. Okay, and you could do the same in reverse, right? The exact same thing, depending on whatever line of tissue that they need, okay? okay. So if you need lateral flexion rotation stretching, this is a way to do it. Okay, all right. So what you're dealing with this is just basically gravity. Yeah, so gravity, because we're, we're, yeah, we're not gonna load your head with anything. They have yeah. straps for your head. Yeah, that's what I asked. We probably shouldn't do that. Better safe than sorry. I don't want someone doing that at home and hurting themselves either. Right. And the idea is that you can build up to this, and if you can only handle it for 10 or 15 seconds, build off that. Like I've had clients tell me that doing this stuff makes them dizzy. This here? They just have to do the best that they can. Right. So go ahead and hang the head off, scoot up a little bit, relax this arm, totally relax it. Let your ear sink to the floor. How's this shoulder on the side? Um, for the shoulder on that side, wherever is at it, just try to keep it out of the equation. So keep it tight to you. Okay. Scoot up a little bit, scoot up a little bit and hang it off the table. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. probably, that probably yeah. makes more sense. I like that, that setup's a lot better. Now head off. We have lengthening on your progressive here. You have no regressive restriction. No. Okay. If you got pinching on the other side, then we'd have to flip you over and open that up. So again, because the spine rotates, flexes, and extends, you have to find what line of tissue you need, and that might vary from side to side. Let's say you have a shoulder problem on one side versus the other, that neck tightness on that shoulder problem might be an issue, right? If the left shoulder is the issue, the left side of the neck might be the problem, and vice versa. Right. So you have this side opening. Go ahead and bring your chin to the floor and rotate a little bit. You feel a different line of tissue more on the back side, but still on the side. Think about running away from my hand too. Pull your head to the ground more. You feel that a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. Feel, and so for you, if that now I feel close side. You feel close side there. Yeah. Okay. So you can see where you're actually restricted on your right side when you laterally flex and rotate together, right? Mm -hmm. When you're in both zones, right. you're restricted in that one like quadrant, right? That one region of your neck. Mm -hmm. Now, what if I told you to twist your head this way? and keep laterally flexing to the floor, like press this down against me, and then start bringing your chin to the roof. You should feel more lateral flexion and throat stuff lengthening, yeah, okay. right? Yeah. And if it might help to pull this down a little bit more, uh, do you still have that closing side restriction? No. no, okay, so you could see where you have restriction in that one quadrant when you were flexed and rotated, but when you go the other direction, that restriction doesn't present itself the same way. Yeah. So you have to find a way to lengthen the area that you had pinching in. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, Let's have you flip over and try the other side. It's pretty simple stuff, and somebody could just do it like laying off their bed at home. So same deal, relax the shoulder, try to get this trap relaxed, bring that head to the floor. Okay. Now let your head relax, let gravity yank on you. So we have this lengthening. Yeah. Okay, so you found progressive lengthening. Right there. Okay, if that's the zone you need, you can hang out there, right? Breathe into it, try to get further. You might need to rotate down towards the floor or rotate up towards the ceiling with the lateral flexion that you're in. I have a lot of backside. You have a lot of backside there? Yeah. Is that the area that pinched when we had you in reverse? Yeah, okay, so you can see where the area that pinched initially mm -hmm is now lengthening on this side, mm -hmm. right? Do you have any restriction on this left side Nothing. now? Nothing. So we now know, based on your assessment, right, mm -hmm. while doing cars and stretching, that we have found that when you rotate and flex to the right, you get pinching up here. Mm -hmm. So we need to rotate and laterally flex to the left to lengthen that, right? Go the opposite direction to create more space. Think about bringing your chin down to the floor a little bit more. Does that do it for you more? Yeah. You see how that does more for you? So bring this down a little bit further. Now it's running to the front now. Stretch through here? Yeah, now okay. from the back. And so you might have to sit there and kind of like oscillate between the different ranges that you need. Yeah, there it is. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, let's have you sit up. So we can do the same thing. So what we just did was played around with zones of lateral flexion and rotation, but we also need to play around with extension and flexion. So we're gonna have you lay on your back and hang your head off of the table and scoot back so that your head's literally hanging off, right? And so this drill wouldn't work or wouldn't be appropriate rather if you got pinching on your backside. So go ahead and let your head hang off. We're looking for progressive lengthening through the throat. Think about pulling your chin up there. Take a big deep breath there and relax. Do you feel your throat stretching? Uh -huh. Do you have any pinching on the backside? Any restriction there? 
Slight, not too much though. Okay, if you were to rotate to the left and twist it this way, but maintain that degree of extension you're in, are you getting any pinching on this closing side or are you getting open side lengthening? Side again. You're getting pinching on the... Open side. You're getting open side here. The same type of open, open side. Up, okay, side. but no closing side restriction. Side. Okay, good. So you can see where now you're in extension and rotation and you can even like laterally flex a little bit more and open that up even more, right? So there's a lot of overlap in these different zones that we're in. Right. Go ahead and rotate towards me now and go to your right. And I want you to think about looking over here towards the dumbbells and making sure that we don't get pinching on your right side. Okay, bring your chin up a little bit more. Do we have progressive lengthening through here? It sounds more intense on the progressive side, but I don't feel close side at all. I feel that stretched on this side a lot. Good, hang out there, breathe into that. I think the breathing into it's the big part. Sometimes when I'm doing neck stuff, I will play around with the position my thoracic spine is into. Mm. We are working your cervical spine, but the relationship between the cervical and the thoracic spine matters. Mm. So if you're in neck extension, play around with flattening your spine on the table versus arching your back. Does that make sense? So you're moving your thoracic and lumbar spine relative to where your cervical spine is. And so you might find that when I'm in extension, of my cervical spine, my neck, and I extend my thoracic spine and lose the stretch or you gain the stretch, that would be dictated on whatever your neck needs, mm. right? Go ahead and rotate the other way. Mm. And we have this side now opening up. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so you see how you can find the line of tissue that you need, right? Yeah. And so depending on the person, they might need this, mm -hmm. they might need this, they might need this. If you rotate towards me, they might need a line of tissue here mm -hmm. or here or back here, uh, right? It just depends on the person uh, and just the minute changes in positioning uh, is where the neck training, I think really makes a difference. Uh, Especially if they have pinching and they're restricted, we need to find how to open up the area that was pinching. Uh, we'll do a whole nother video on regressive shortening another day. Yeah. And that will be to complement progressive lengthening. But I think more people than not need progressive lengthening rather than regressive shortening of their neck just because right. their neck is so right. stiff. Right. We could sit here and sit up and pull down and it, you could feel a stretch on the backside but you probably need a little bit more downward force so what we're gonna do is have you hold your head and pivot your head down as much as you can I want you playing around with like as you pull your head down you're not doing this right you're not flexing your lumbar and thoracic spine try to keep everything else stable and use your arms to pull yourself just from cervical so we're gonna grab our head take a big deep breath and try to pull your chin into your chest so we have progressive lengthening on the backside here. Yeah. Okay, I want you to maintain that level of flexion you're in and think about rising your chest up and extend the thoracic spine. So think chest up while pulling your head down. Do you feel this side kind of pulling apart yeah. more? Yeah. Okay, so if you, you could see where if you start pulling your head down, the whole thoracic spine wants to pull down with you. Yeah. I'm trying to get you to prevent that compensation, extend the thoracic spine, keep the chest up, flex the cervical spine to create a little bit more mm -hmm. distance between those two. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and hold that. Take a big deep breath there. And so just like what we did earlier, we have the zones of the neck that overlap there. What you could do is flex the neck that way mm -hmm. and then rotate towards me and keep pulling down on your head. So pull, look towards me more, look towards me more, but keep creating that downward force with your hands. Do you see how we're now lengthening one of the lateral sides of your progressive neck flexion? So it depends on what you need. Yeah. If you were to go this way and doesn't do much of a stretch, but you go the other way and you need more of a stretch, obviously find the line of tissue you need, right? Mm -hmm. We have no pinching on the regressive side. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and look towards your left. Try to keep everything else still. Twist just the head. Keep creating that downward force with your hands and then extend the thoracic spine from there. Do we have progressive lengthening on this side? Yeah, hold that there. Big deep breath, try to relax into that. It's super easy to kind of hold your breath and tense up. And now go back to the center, your starting position. Try to keep everything else totally still. I don't want to see anything in your torso moving. Stick your chest tall now, extend the thoracic spine. More, more, more. And now flex your cervical spine more. You see how we're getting progressive lengthening there. Okay, take a big deep breath there and hold that. Let's have you lay on your back, face up. So we lengthened lateral flexion. We lengthened extension. And now we're gonna lengthen rotation. So go ahead and look towards me. Watch the shoulder and I want you to twist all the way to your right. So we have lengthening on this side, okay? So the idea would be that we could get your right cheek to the table. So we have progressive lengthening on here. And what you could be doing is grabbing your chin 
and pulling down on your head, creating a little bit more downward force on it. Take a big deep breath and try to push your head a little bit further and make sure we're relaxing this arm as well so that none of this is pulling. It might help to hang the arm off the table. It might not, it kind of depends on the person. But if you feel your trap engaging, play around with different positioning for that. But we found progressive lengthening here with no pinching on the backside. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and rotate back to me. Your pinching was on the right side or the left side? Right. Go this way. I expect this side to lengthen a lot further. Do you feel this pulling open? Yeah. Okay, let's grab your hand. Watch your pec too. And go ahead and put your hand on your chin and pull. Keep this down. Do we feel this side pulling? Hang out there, take a big deep breath, and try to go a little bit further. Uh -huh. We found progressive lengthening there, uh -huh. but no pinching on the other side. Nothing. You know what we're gonna finish with? Uh. Neck cars, okay? Bro. So let's have you stand over here. Down, bad. Go through all that. Yeah, I bet, man. <laughs> so we're gonna do it with no weights right now. You're gonna tense everything, go through the sequence. Show me what you got. So squeeze the arms, squeeze the stomach, squeeze the glutes, neck extension. Let's look up. Yeah, look up, look up all the way. Let's make sure we get no pinching in the back. You have progressive lengthening? Yep. Okay, you found it. Now rotate, left or right. Beautiful, you found the end of rotation. Mm -hmm. We have no pinching on the left side. No. Nope. Okay, water out of your left ear. We have progressive lengthening on this side. Yes. We have no pinching on the left side. Nope. Okay, good, now tuck your chin. Flex your cervical regressive, right, for neck flexion. Squeeze the hell out of that, you feel your throat contracting. Yep. Tuck the chin, you're drawing a circle across. You're now rotating. We have lengthening on this side, no pinching. Water out of your right ear. Still no pinching. We have progressive lengthening there. Good, look up. Straight to extension. Bring that chin to the roof more, bring it to the roof more. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We have progressive lengthening here. Yeah. No regressive restriction, nope. right? Closing side restriction, mm -hmm. good. Rotate to your right now. Watch this left shoulder, tense everything up still, squeeze the glutes, mm -hmm. tighten the stomach. We have no pinching on the right side. Water out of your ear. Still no pinching? Nope. Good. Mm -hmm. Progressive lengthening. Tuck the chin, circle all the way back around. Trace your chain. We have the throat contracting. Mm -hmm. Okay, bring it all the way to the left. Water out of the left ear, watch the shoulder. Good. Lateral flexion, no pinching on the left side. Nope. Progressive lengthening on the right. Yep. Then head up, chin up. Look up at the roof. All the way up, all the way up, all the way up. And done.